No. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Shlamalachun Oreshit Chitat Atoreta Hoya Brachta Al Kulochun. 
and a happy Assyrian New Year. Welcome to the Assyrian New Year Festival, where we celebrate 6,774 years of Assyrian continuity. I'm Melanie Alkas, a proud member of the Young Assyrians within the Assyrian National Council of Australia. And my name is Johnson Ashak, and we will be your MCs for this afternoon's festivities. On behalf of the organising committee of the Assyrian National Council and the Young Assyrians, we extend a warm welcome to you all for joining us today for the official opening of the Assyrian New Year Festival. We hope you all have an enjoyable afternoon. Now I would like to say a few words in Assyrian. Now, ladies and gentlemen, may I kindly ask that you all rise and stand for the Australian National Anthem, followed by the Assyrian National Anthem and Yarkhat Nisan to be performed by the talented mu uh, musicians, Mr. Apram Shlimon and Ms. Dina Yosef on vocals, Ms. Itana Araham on piano, Ms. Maria Isaac on violin. Following the anthems, we will respectfully request that you remain standing for a moment of silence in remembrance of our martyrs and those who lost their lives in the tragedy of Baghdad.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, if we can please remain standing for a moment silence in remembrance of our martyrs and those who lost their lives in the tragedy of Baghdad. One moment, please. Thank you, you can now be seated. Before commencing with the program, I would firstly like to acknowledge the Cabrigal people of the Darug Nation, the traditional custodians of this land upon which we are meeting today. I would now like to take the opportunity to formally welcome all the guests that are present here today. Reverend Father Raman Yohannes is from the Assyrian Church of the East. Mr. Herman Shaheen, President of the Assyrian National Council of Australia. Mr. David David, Chairman of the Organising Committee of the Assyrian New Year Festival. The Honourable Chris Bowen, MP, Federal Member for McMahon, Minister for Climate Change and Energy, representing the Prime Minister of Australia, the Honourable Anthony Albanese, MP. Senator Maria Kovacic, representing the Honourable Peter Dutton, MP, Leader of the Opposition. Dr Hugh McDermott, MP, State Member for Prospect, representing the Honourable Chris Minns, MP, Premier of New South Wales. Ms Di Lee, MP, Federal Member for Fowler. Dr David Saliba, MP, State Member for Fairfield, representing Mr Stephen Camper, MP, Member for Multiculturalism. Mr. Mark Corey, MP, Shadow Minister for Multiculturalism. The Honourable Amanda Fazio, former member of the New South Wales Legislative Council. Ms. Karish Kellyanda, MP, State Member for Liverpool. And Mr. Nathan Hagati, MP, State Member for Leppington. Mr. Tri Vo, MP, the State Member for Cabramatta. Mayor Frank Carboni, Mayor Fairfield City Council. Deputy Mayor Councillor Charbel Saliba, Mr Joseph Laposto, who sends his apologies for not being here today, CEO Multi uh, Multicultural New South Wales, Councillor Rennie Barco, Councillor Carmen Lazar, OAM and Mr Lazar, Councillor Marie Saliba, Chief Inspector Robert Monaghan, Fairfield City Council Police Area Command, Ms Susan Jabour, Multicultural Community Liaison Officer, Ms. Fibha Framine, Community, Li Community Liaison Officer, Department of Home Affairs, Michael, Mr. Michael uh, Gencher, Acting CEO, New South Wales Board of Deputies, 
Mr. Michael Kolokosian, the Executive Director of the Armenian National Committee of Australia, Mrs. Karen Bose, National Director of Christian Faith and Freedom and Advisory to the Assyrian National Council, Anchor, Ms. Femina Rosario, the Director of the Advocacy, um, as well as the Christian Faith and Freedom, and Mr. Paul Adam Azzo, Senior Advisor of the Anchor. Dr. Ahmad Matashad Mendian, Australian Community, Mr. Edward Dincha, Principal of the St. Narsay Assyrian Christian College, Mr. Benjamin Khoshaba, Principal from the St. Hermes Assyrian Primary School, Mrs. Susie David, Advisor to the ANCA and Mr. Leonard David, Mr. Sawafi Ek and Mrs. Ek, Founder of the Australian Southeast Asian Network. Also representing the ASEAN, we are joined by representative of 18 community at this celebration. Mr. Anwar Atu and Mrs. Atu, Principal of the Assyrian Language College. Mr. Ninos Emmanuel, SBS Radio from the Assyrian Program and Mrs. Emmanuel. Mr. Sargon Warda, presenter of the SBS Assyrian Program. Mr. Emmanuel Youssef from Zilgo Media Founder. Our esteemed guests from the occupied Assyria of Northern Iraq, Ms. Mariam Shmuel, Ms. Marcel Yalda, Mr. Rama Beitu, Mr. Andy Saliwa, Mr. Marel Tuma, and Mr. Ashut Ischaria. We would also like to welcome our special guests from the United States of America, USA, Mr. Ishai Isho and Mrs. Isho, and from Sweden, Mr. David Oraham. Delegates from our Assyrian organizations that are present in alphabetical order include Abna Al Nahran Party, the Assyrian Aid Society Australia, the Assyrian Australian Association, the Assyrian Australian Medical Association, the Assyrian Badwar Association, the Assyrian Baz Association, the Assyrian Cultural and Social Youth Association, the Assyrian Cultural Association, the Assyrian Democratic Movement, the Assyrian Democratic Party, the Assyrian Khabur Social Association, the Assyrian Students Association of Australia, Bartella Association, New South Wales Babylon Cultural Association, and finally, the Young Assyrians. I would like to welcome and thank you the following organizations for their donations sponsorships and ongoing support whom continue to make the Assyrian New Year a successful event. Mr. Morris Lakata, President of the Club Marconi and Mr. Matthew Biviano, Chief Executive Officer of Club Marconi. Mr. Ramel Youssef from Fairfield Forum Pharmacy. Mrs. Susie David and Mr. Fred David from David Legal. Mr. George Humphreys from St. John's Park Bowling Club Group. Mr. Michael Folks, General Manager, and Mr. Shane Barrett, Director from Cabra Vale Diggers, and Mr. Servan Ma Stephen Marza and Mrs. Marza from Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Our supporting sponsors include Mr. Lachlan Murdoch and Mr. Colin Hickling from Starts, Mr. David Yasser from Baroni Pharmacy Fairfield, Mr. Tony Jawaro and Mrs. Jawaru from T and J Smash Repairs. Dr. Mariam Joseph from Endeavour Specialist Centre, Councillor Rennie Barco from Rennie's Car Wash, Dr. Nabil Matti from Smiles Unlimited Dental Clinic, Mr. John Barajo, Program Manager at Core Community Services, Mr. Nabaz Al Qadi from Settlement Services International, Mr. George Adam and Mrs. Adam from David's Auto Repairs, Mr. Ragul Ravindran from Wise Employment, Mr. Jack Bazzi and Mrs. Bazzi, and Ms. Janan Oshana from Princess Flowers. Your support and dedication has been instrumental to the success of this festival, so we say thank you. We also welcome our prominent community members, Mr. Fred David and Mrs. Sabrina Jaju, Mr. Evan Yelda, Managing Director of Crocs ISG, Dr. George Morano, founder and principal of RBV Consulting Group, Mr. Benyamin Benyamin, ANCA advisor, 
Mr. Isaac Yuchanna, ANCA advisor, Mr. Soru Soru and Mrs. Aglantine Soru, Dr. Inam Jaju and Mr. Adisha Yuchanna, Mr. and Mrs. Emil Garib, Mr. and Mrs. Alembi George, Mr. and Mrs. Tawad Zarib, Mr. Edward Haido, and Mrs. Samia Sayad and Rita Sayad. We also received the following apologies. Mrs. Tanya Davies, MP State Member for Badgeries Creek, the Honourable Chris Rath, MLC, the Honourable Councillor Philip Ruddock, AO, Mayor of Hornsby Shire Council, and Mr. Bradley Cutts, General Manager of Fairfield City Council. Thank you, Mel. To commence with the program, we would like to invite Reverend Father Raman Johannes of the Assyrian Church of the East to start the festival with a prayer. Thank you. With your blessing, our Lord and our God, may your servants be blessed, and by the care of your goodwill, may your worshippers be kept, and may the perpetual peace, my Lord, of your Godhead, and the long-enduring tranquility of your majesty, rule among your nation, your Assyrian nation, all those who live by it, and in your church, all the days of the world, now and forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and happy Assyrian New Year. Thank you, Reverend Father. I would now like to call upon the President of the Assyrian National Council of Australia to officially welcome you to today's celebration. Please welcome Mr. Homer Shaheen to the stage. مقلسة كهنا يقيرة قيومة جبا وشتاسا وأرخا وبناء أمتا مغبة بخايقرة جورة قابلوخني وخبشينا جدها زياخ ربا تريشة شيتا عشوريتة اشتاء البيشو ومشوي أربا زياخة عشوراء جو كل متأمرانيتا بريشايد جو أرعة عشر قدشتا وجدها أطرى بريخة أستراليا مشرورة لي ات قيام عشرايا إلى جدرغة من تاتا وأي أمتا إلى خاتا وقلل من كل جاربيات الأضواء قشيبتة شما وإيتوتا من جيب كل رخما جمتوى أمتنا يا عشرايا أستراليا باروخ وخلدها إيد ربا الكل عشرايا الدنيا وبطلابة وإتشيتا خطا هو يمليتا من بركاتة وشينا ومن تاتا أبهيوي وخ جزياخة شيتت بتايلا بتها وخ شنية بوش زودا باسوياتي منتياني ققنيت الزدقت أمتن جو أرعت جانن أرعت آشور قدشتا خي أمتن آشوريتا هل عابت Reverend Father, Distinguished Guest, Ladies and Gentlemen On behalf of the Assyrian National Council of Australia I warmly welcome you to this annual festival. First, I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the Darug Nation, and pay my respect to their ancestors past and present. A heartfelt welcome to the honorable member of the Australian federal, state, and local government present here today. I express gratitude to Fairfield City Police for their presence here today and for their outstanding services 
in maintaining law and order in our beautiful city of Fairfield. A warm and heartfelt welcome to our esteemed sponsors and donors and to representatives from various communities here today. Among us are representatives from the Greek, Armenian, Jewish, Italian, representative of 18 Australian Southeast Asian network communities and Assyrian organizations. Your presence here signifies the strength of our collective unity and the richness of our diversity. Your unwavering support is valuable to us and it serves as a, break, as a, as a beacon of hope and solidarity as we work together to build bridges and strengthen the bonds between our communities. With great joy, I extend a warm welcome to our honored guests from our cherished homeland of Assyria in northern Iraq, as well as our esteemed guests from the USA and various Australian states. Your presence amidst challenging circumstances signifies the unbreakable unity uh, transcending to uh, borders. A special thank to Mr. Fiba uh, Framen, Community Liaison Officer, Department of Human Affairs, for her valuable assistance in facilitating the journey of our guests from Iraq. Today, during this important national day for all Assyrians, I want to recognize the impactable efforts of two members of parliament. The Honorable Chris Bowen MP, Minister for Climate Change and Energy, who has been a long-standing advocate for the Assyrian community, providing a platform in the federal parliament and taking meaningful actions. His friendship and support have been instrumental in advancing the interests and aspiration of the Assyrian community and has aided us in establishing a community center for the Assyrian National Council, which we hope to become a beacon of unity and support for Assyrians in this region. This center stands as a testament to Mr. Bowen's vision for a vibrant and empowered Assyrian community. Thank you, Minister, for your help. I want also to recognize the effort of Dexter Hugh McDermott MP, state member for Prospect, and the chairman for Parliamentary Friends of Assyria, who has been instrumental in defending and supporting the Assyrian cause and the expansion of the Assyrian New Year's festival. We are deeply thankful and express our sincere gratitude to you, Dr. McDermott. Ladies and gentlemen, the Assyrian New Year is more than mere celebration. It's testament to love, brotherhood, and friendship. Today, we witness thousands of Assyrians gathering, expressing the rich spirit of this festival in our second homeland, Australia, a land that has not embraced us, but also granted the freedom to thrive alongside fellow Australians. As we come together to celebrate, let us also address the pressing issues of our national revival and the pursuit of human rights for Assyrians in Iraq and Syria. Throughout our history, we have endured genocides, persecution, and forced migration. Yet, our resilience spirit has safeguarded us, our, our culture and identity. Today, we stand united in our determination to address the pressing issues of our national revival and the pursuit of human rights for Assyrians. We confront corruption, discrimination, and the marginalization of our rights as indigenous people by both the Kurdish sequesters and the corrupt Iraqi government. Despite our significant contribution to world civilization reflects in the artifacts proudly displayed 
in prestigious museums worldwide, we find ourselves marginalized and labeled merely as Christians attempt, attempting, uh, attempting to cut out deep-rooted ties to our ancestral land. As members of the diaspora, we assert our rights and advocate for the establishment of an Assyrian state within a decent federal democratic Iraq where Assyrians can live with dignity and prosperity. We continue seeking the support of the international community, including Australia, in this endeavor. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to everyone present here today, to our generous sponsors, and to all staffs at the Assyrian Global Network TV in the USA for amplifying our voices live across the globe. I wish you all a joyous, peaceful, and prosperous Assyrian New Year. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Shahin. For an official welcome in the Assyrian language, I would now like to call upon the chairman of the organizing committee of the Assyrian New Year Festival. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. David David. Thank you. Thank you. Well, friends, uh, my speech will be in Assyrian language, but I would like to say, welcome. Welcome, everyone, to this wonderful festival, Assyrian New Year 2020, 6774. It's an honor to have you all here, and I hope that you all will have a wonderful day today. I would like to deliver my speech in Assyrian because there are so many Assyrians worldwide watching live the program and especially those are in the homeland. So we need them actually just to understand the whole issue of today. And our speech, my speech, sorry, will be in Assyrian. Thank you for that. بنون بنات امتا ناتوريتا شلاما اتورايا ميليا من خبا وقارا قبل خخدو ترى بيورتا بكلاي وخلداها بيما الدار خشلاما يدا خاف نيس رشيت اتوراي وقبل خلو خن كله خبشينا يدا شيتا التري الب واسري اربا اشتا الب وشوما وشوي اربا شيتا اتوريتا تشئيتا جبرتا اوهاتا اشوراي أن يكملوا ويولوا مرضوطة كل الدنيا وإديوم أمطاء طريتا بشتة لا بيتا ولا بنا وبرستا جو خمشي أطروات الدنيا إنا بماري وانقاتوخ بنون بنات أمطاء طريتا شتاسا ناتوراي ريزا ناتوراي جبا ناتوراي أغود أمتناي كلوخ قيوم مغبة هيوي تو يلاقة طخلة بلخخ إيدا بإيدا ات آتي يوما وكلا غدي خيتا زي خخلاها زياخا جو أطرت أوهاتي بإيقارة وريشة راما بش قالي وناها فرسة تتأمرن بشيني تنتي أرخن سوجولي ميقر ميقرياتي من أطرت أوهاتي ات بشلت جتة بوشطة قاتوخن وكلو خنتية لخا هموني وان كلو خن بتموريتن خضانا رابا باسمتا كلو خن شقليتن بيدو يترانا وبانخ الصورة شابيرة ما أروى ومدنخة بأطرة أوهاتة وبالخخ من أوضالة الميتة أو خلمة بجدورة جلبت كل أمتناية آتراية قد أمتا آتراية سنقتلة اتهاويلة خبيتة ديانو اتباي شرشيما قاتو اتقبا ينخيا أخ كل أمواتة بإقارة وريشة راما بينا مرنو خون بكلان الدها بيما أنا تري ما أنا لي وقت ميخة وإديو جلدة مخي خل قدمة مريزيات دينتية اللي توتها ليلا رابا هسناي إنا بغداية وخ بشقالة وخ جرأة وخيلة من نوخن تهمش سنيدة وتية ومغزية خبوخن وإقاروخن قداها يوم تشي تنايا وجورة وجبارة جخيوتة أمتنا طريطة هل بات أي ملئة اللي توتها إطلاها بيلن دوخ نوشا يعني بلنتيز أنا دينا بدوخ يعني بلاخ بليل يوما اتقاها ساقلت شابرته وديلا من تم التمانية بليل الإيديو أخلن كل أن السقل ومريزيات وقرقزيات بديه قاتوخن 
والبات سبونسرز اتلا سبونسرز دياني وهيراني لي ما سخخنا ما تخل داها بالخانه شابيره دي واخويدي وقي كل داني دينا هوير وسنيده زمارا زمرياتا وكل اني هيراني وسنداني انا بين امر قد خادوتا رابا يرتلا اداها يوم كل زيو خي وخمرو ضاله وبين غداي خيتا امر قد تيمتت منتا من كل الداني دينوي الشركان اداها يوم دي البتايه لايتوتا وموني وخ قصات اربا وخمسه واشته وشوا دكت ليه يا لخا اخر كل شنخينه اتخدش درنج بتاينا هنا قرب الخائسري الف برناشوت بتجمع لخا اطمور خضانا رابا باسمتا باش قال انا برسد مجيب صعتا مدبرنتا ومشتلنتا لها خرزه تخبني سرشيط اتراي اتامر رشيط توخن هيا برختا خبه وشلامه وخادوتا وبايقاره قال كل بنون بنات امتنا اتريتا دينا بخايا قداها اترا يو كل تيول اتاترايوتا وبرشايد باروخ ورشيطا اتريتا البنون بنات امتنا اتريتا اني دينا بخايا يو اطرد اوهاته وبرشايد دينا قنطرن يو جربي اتاترا اتهم شهاوي بشلامه وخيب خيروتا وبايقار راما لا من شيء اتلو اخنواته وخطواته اتلو جبار يمعروى هم شقاليه بتمقو خيله ولي شقق هاوي هقياته تشليجه ين جنجره ين اجزه ين متخد خيله اطلاما سي طلبي هقياته ين ان زدق بوش سوري يخيوته زدق ناشاية اتيوما ايت لا هاوي له بتبلخخ مرمخ قالا وبطلب خيرته من هكما اتماسخ هاوخ خابرقانا قبنون بنات امتا ناطريتا خي جانو خن خي جانت امتا عاشوريتا وباسي مرابا Thank you Mr. David David Ladies and gentlemen many of you surely recall the remarkable 6 year old from St. Homer's Assyrian Primary School who delighted us all at last year's Assyrian New Year Festival by greeting us in six different languages English, Assyrian, Chinese, German, French and Italian. Please join me in giving a warm round of applause to Messiah Murad who is gracing our stage once again this year. Messiah is here to help us inaugurate the Assyrian New Year Festival with his incredible multilingual talents and his boundless energy. Witnessing young individuals like Messiah will embrace diversity and champion inclusivity is truly inspiring. So let's give Messiah the warmest of welcome uh, as he takes the stage to show his extraordinary talents. Round of applause. Also, what we all love and cherish. 
This land is filled with more than 65,000 years of history to those aboriginals who had lived here for generations. Uluru. Uluru is a very large rock in the middle of Australia. It is 600 million years old. Uluru seems to change color at different times of the day. It glows red at sunrise and sunset and has been a popular destination for tourists since the late 1930s. Australia is one of the world's leading producers of gold, diamond and aluminium. Shlamalochan Reshit Shata Atureta Ile Khazu Yaha Mardu Tenaya U Untenaya Tkeza Yahale Umten Min Yomanit Ninwo Bawa Hil Idi Yoma Taha Yoma Kemahzu Khuban Ta Umten Ushuprit Omanutan Umardutan Hoya Brahta Sheta Atureta Tishta Elpe Ushawama Ushawi Arpa Alochan Chang-chong,位于中国西北地区,全长约6700公里,高7.0米。它是人类历史上最为大的建筑之一,因为它是用普通工具手工建造的。它是用中国的皇帝秦始皇从一六国时候建造这个浩大的工程是集超过三十万名工人历时约三百年才完成它是中国的象征意大利 Un errore architettonico diventato maraviglia e sette monde, chiamato anche campanile perché contiene delle compagne, è una gigantesca cattedrale alla quale giungono turisti da tutto il mondo. È stato costruito in Italia a Pisa e composto da otto piane è la ragione della sua inclinazione e il scedimento del terreno sottostante. France! a été construite à Paris en France par Gustave Eiffel. Gustave Eiffel a décidé de construire une tour de 300 mètres à l'occasion de l'exposition universelle de 1889. Cette date qui marquait le centenaire de la Révolution française. Germany möchte ich über die Berliner Mauer sprechen, die vor 28 Jahren die Stadt Berlin in Deutschland trennte. Sie teilte der Osten von der Westen. Die Berliner Mauer fiel am 9. November 1998. Dankeschön. Australia! We love 
Australia. Wow, wow. Two languages is the most that we speak in this country and this beautiful, handsome, smart and very delicate young man is speaking six to seven languages. Another round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very incredible work. Good job, Alexisa. Keep up the fantastic talents. I'm astounded at the level of talent that we have in the Assyrian community. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour that I introduce the next guest. Someone who has been a steadfast ally and an advocate for the Assyrian community in corridors of power, especially in our endeavours at the Assyrian National Council Australia. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the Honourable Chris Bowen MP, Minister for Climate Change and Energy. Today, he graciously stands before us representing the Honourable Anthony Albanese, MP, Prime Minister of Australia, to express his unwavering support and solidarity with our community. Thank you very much, the Honourable Chris Bowen. Shalom alokon. Hoya brekta rishit shita gangure ataraye. Brekka ida te oshane. Well, friends, it's great to be with you again here today. And as always, we celebrate and we recognize. We recognize that Assyrian human rights remain under pressure and under threat around the world. And of course, we recognize that this is the first Assyrian New Year in which we've gathered since the terrible events in Baghdad last year and the loss of so many lives at such a joyous occasion of the wedding. But also, we celebrate the fact that here, in our part of Australia, in our part of the world, Assyrian culture is alive and well and stronger than ever. And we've seen that in the dancing already today. We've seen that in the speech we just heard from Masaye, a hard act to follow, I have to tell you. Uh, and we've seen it as we will tonight with so many thousands of people congregate here at Fairfield Showground and celebrate Assyrian New Year. And of course, today is also Palm Sunday. I pay my respects uh, to Reverend uh, Rahman and to all here present and wish everyone a happy Palm Sunday. And I can also tell you that today is my wife and I's 22nd wedding anniversary. So it's a very special day for all of us. And I'm also representing the Honourable Anthony, Anthony Albanese, Prime Minister of Australia today. He's asked me to read you a brief message. As the Australian community, as the Syrian community in Australia and around the world, celebrate Kaab Nissan, I'm delighted to send my warm greetings for a year of peace and joy. This is a season to reflect on times past and look forward to the future. Coming together to celebrate, we find strength and inspiration in the shared hopes of our friends and family. Assyrian culture has flourished through the millennia. Kaab Nissan celebrations are a vibrant display of the history and enduring civilization and vitality of a modern people. The Assyrian community in Australia have long been part of our th strong and thriving multicultural society. For some, the journey to make your home here has been not a simple one, yet your traditions are part of our national story. You've made Australia a better nation for us all. I hope the new year is an opportunity to come together with your community and your loved ones to celebrate your history, your life that you've made here in Australia and all you have contributed to our country Happy New Year, Anthony Albanese, Prime Minister of Australia. So friends, it's wonderful to be back here. I think this is my 20th Assyrian New Year with you, but it's 6,774 in total. We've spent so many together. I'm just looking forward to the opening of the new Assyrian National Council office in Fairfield very soon. It's going to be a wonderful day for our community, a wonderful day for the council. And I end by saying, Umidre, edokan hawe breka, chaya atoa. Thank you, very much to no Thank you very much to the Honourable Chris Bowen MP. Would like to say a happy anniversary to you and your partner, your wife. Congratulations and God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour and privilege that I introduce Senator Maria Kovacic, 
Senator for New South Wales, who graciously joins us today on behalf of the Honourable Peter Dutton, MP, Leader of the Opposition. Senator Kovacic brings a wealth of experience, dedication and a deep commitment to serving our community. So please again, join me in extending a warm welcome to the Senator Maria Kovacic. Thank you. It is a great honour to be here with you all today and to represent our Opposition Leader, the Honourable Peter Dutton MP. I'd like to acknowledge the many distinguished guests here today, as well as my federal and state parliamentary colleagues. I'd also like to thank the President of the Assyrian National Asso Council, Mr Hermiz Shaheen and Vice President Mr David David for their extraordinary work in organising this event. What a privilege it is to share in this joyous occasion with you all as we celebrate not just the Assyrian year 6,774, which is shortly upon us, but also the vibrant, courageous and resilient Assyrian community. The Assyrian community is a direct link between ancient and modern times, whether it is through your beautiful Aramaic language, one of the oldest continuously spoken languages in the world, your art, your music, your food, your strong sense of community, your Christian faith. Your culture is embedded with the evolution of humanity. And there, though there is so much important history, when I think about the- G'day, New South Wales Premier, Chris Minns here. Good. <laughs> and though there is so much important history, when I think about the contribution that your community has made, I think about the future. As someone with a migrant story myself, as a first generation Australian, as an example of what multicultural Australia has to offer, I feel a deep connection to the journey and contributions of Assyrian Australians. You embody the best of multicultural Australia. You embrace opportunity, cherish education, promote peace and harmony, and generally welcome others, like today, to partake in your rich traditions. For this, we are profoundly thankful. The Liberal Party has a long-standing friendship with the Assyrian community spanning many years. In fact, I remember when former Prime Minister Tony Abbott became the first Prime Minister to address this event back in 2015. He spoke during a time when Syria and Iraq faced great turmoil and promised that we would do everything we could to help our Assyrian friends. That was a promise made in unity, shared by both major political parties. It was in the spirit of helping our Assyrian brothers and sisters that Peter Dutton, the Minister for Immigration, worked to provide visas to 12,000 Assyrian refugees in, during that time, some of whom may be joining us here today. In our increasingly globalised world, what unites us are our shared values, more so than where we are located on a map. And even though many of those people lived a long way away, they remained close in the hearts of the Australian people and you are now making a positive contribution to our democratic way of life. It is important that we continue to invest in the strength of our relationships, united by values and desire for a brighter, more peaceful future. Events like this in our beautiful Western Sydney are an important part of this journey, which I look forward to joining you on for many years to come. On behalf of the Leader of the Opposition, Peter Dutton, I wish you joy, I wish you prosperity, and I wish you blessings for the coming year. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Kovacic. Now, our next speaker, Dr McDermott, has been a consistent and unwavering supporter of the Assyrian community. Through his various statements in State Parliament of New South Wales, he has demonstrated 
his acknowledgement of and support for the needs of the Assyrian community. He has been an advocate for the establishment of an autonomous Assyrian region in northern Iraq and has publicly expressed his desire to visit our ancestral homeland. We are honored to have him here with us today. Please welcome to the stage Dr. Hugh McDermott, State Member for Prospect, representing the Honourable Chris Minns, MP, Premier of New South Wales. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you all very, very much. I know that uh, the Premier also has a video clip, which I know we'll be playing perhaps after this speech. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the Karakul people, the Aurora Nation, and, then their tri and tribute to their elders past and present. Our hosts at the ANC, Hermes Shaheen, the President of the Australian National Council of Australia, and David David, the organisation's Vice President, who without them, this wonderful festival would not exist. They have such a fantastic team all around them as well, and I want to acknowledge all of them. Tonight, today we have rather a, a lot of distinguished guests, and I won't go through them all, but I would like to certainly acknowledge Father Rahman uh, from the Assyrian Church of the East, Dr. David Saliba, member for Fairfield, who's also representing the Minister for Multiculturalism, and my other state members of parliament who are present. Uh, Trevo, the member for Cabramatta, uh, Charisma Kalienye, member for Liverpool, and Nathan Haggerty, the member for Living Lippington. The Honourable Chris Bowen, the Minister, Federal Minister for Climate Change and Energy. Miss Di Lee, the Federal Member for Fowler. Our well-known Mayor, Frank Carboni, the Mayor of Fairfield City. Uh, Councillor Carmen Lazar. Uh, and Joseph Laposta from Multicultural New South Wales, as well as many, many others. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to be with you today celebrating the Australian, Assyrian New Year, a time of renewal, of hope and unity for this dynamic and strong community, and an inspiration for the rest of us. On behalf of Chris Minns, I, who sends you his warm regards, and he has told me this morning a commitment to attend the festival next year. The Premier will be here and will join you next year for this wonderful day. Today's event is important, not just for the Assyrian community in New South Wales, but also the wider New South Wales community. By promoting cultural understanding and appreciation across our state's more than 250 multicultural communities, events such as the Assyrian New Year Festival helps us to bond as one people. This festival is special in other ways as well. It brings, together, it brings us together to honour the rich cultural heritage of our Assyrian community, celebrate its resilience, and help involve its young people in its heritage. The Assyrian New Year is a time-honoured tradition that dates back thousands of years, marking the beginning of a spring and the rebirth of nature. It is a time to embrace the future with optimism and determination. Assyrian Australians have known themselves to be contributors to our state's way of life and society and through your hard work and business savvy to our local economy. The New South Wales government is delighted that there are more of you in our state, in New South Wales, than any other state in the country. According to the 2021 consensus, 29,500 people in New South Wales gave their ancestry as Assyrian. This is a 33% rise to the figures from 2016. Like those of Assyrian ancestry elsewhere, the Assyrian Australians of New South Wales can draw on a legacy of strength and perseverance. Today we also reflect on the struggles and triumphs of your courageous ancestors throughout history. We honour the sacrifices they made to preserve your identity, your Christian faith, language and culture sometimes in the face of unimaginable hardship and persecution. We can all find inspiration from their resilience as we navigate the difficulties of today's worlds. Also inspiring is the unity on display at today's event. In a world where too often it is divided by politics, religion and ancestry, it is more important than ever for all of us to stand united and to celebrate both our differences and to make us as one people. By standing together, supporting one another and working towards common goals, we can overcome any challenge. 
In closing, and on behalf of Premier Mims, I would like to commend the Assyrian National Council of Australia for organising today's entertaining and educational events. I also commend the Council for its work to make us all aware of Assyrian culture and heritage. And I thank all of you for your support of our multicultural community and your contributing to our harmony which sets an example to the rest of the world. May this Assyrian New Year be a time of joy, renewal and unity for all of us. Thank you. And again, on, on behalf of myself and, the, and Premier Mims, Happy Assyrian New Year, everyone. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, to Dr. Hugh McDermott. And as Dr. Hugh uh, McDermott mentioned, we have a special video that we would like to play for you all. The Honourable Chris Minns, MP, Premier of New South Wales and the member for COGRA, so I kindly ask that you pay attention to the screens around the Fairfield Showground for a short message from the Premier of New South Wales. G'day, New South Wales Premier Chris Minns here. To the Assyrian National Council of Australia, I want to wish you all a very happy New Year festival. More than 50 years ago, Assyrian migrants began to build a community right here in Fairfield. We're very glad that you did. It's been an amazing success, enriching our state for over half a century. Yours is one of the oldest living cultures in human history. By sharing that ancient culture with us, you've added to our vibrant multicultural society. So please enjoy the festival. Have a happy, healthy and prosperous new year and thank you. Round of applause for Chris Minns, ladies and gentlemen. G'day, New South Wales Premier. National Council. Thank you. We'll move on to our first performance for this afternoon. Please welcome a former young Assyrian Australian of the Year recipient, Grammy considered singer and songwriter, Naramsan with his talented ensemble of dancers and cultural performance. Naramsan will be performing a music melody, extravaganza, of his popular songs and some new content that he has produced specifically for today's event, the Assyrian New Year. So sit back, brace yourselves, and enjoy the performance. So please join me in giving a warm welcome to Naram Yaku and his team as they take the floor. Let's make some noise. Let's go! 
Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. You can get on it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Yalla kulla, khum chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. You can get on it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Kare shishe the to surai, chop it, chop it. Get the point? Good. Let's dance. Gearing up like we own it. Unconfined, not controlling. Gypsy like, yes, we're moving. Shoulders ready. Everybody shush la. Gearing up like we own it. Unconfined, not controlling. Gypsy like, yes, we're moving. Shoulders ready. Everybody shush la. Hossa, hossa, come on. Ole, 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 feeling hot, 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 feeling hot, 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 feeling hot, 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 feeling hot, hot, hot. I'm gonna feel and hit, hit. I'm gonna feel and hit. Come these in your body, Bricha Kulahun Amazing female dancers! <laughs> 
all of you. Make sure you keep coming and celebrating our culture. We appreciate this and we are grateful. Thank you, everyone. What a show. What an experience. We are here one more year, standing strong. We thank each and every one of you for coming here and supporting us. Happy Assyrian New Year to you all. Menachon Naramsen. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Guys, that is just a taste of what Assyrian culture is all about. Assyrian history is all about. Yalachiathe, Pare, Sepe. We are a very proud people, and these in front of us, young men, women, are a testament to who we are as a nation. We are not going anywhere. We are here. So, ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Naramson Yaku and his team. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the next guest speaker, who is hardworking and dedicated. He is our mayor of Fairfield City, who has tirelessly worked to make our city a better place for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to our esteemed mayor, Frank Carboni, recipient of last year's Friend of Assyria Award to deliver his speech. Good afternoon everyone, it's wonderful to be here at the Fairfoot Showground where of course with uh, Messiah speaking so many different languages I guess it's not too hard for me to say Shlama Lakun Rishikta Brikta and I hope I said that well but look today it's a pleasure as the Mayor of Fairfield to be here to host a Syrian New Year a Syrian New Year is of course a special day for each and every one of you but it's also a very important day for us in Fairfield because the Assyrian community has a really special connection. You, you love your faith. It's very, very important to you. Your important connection to your family and, of course, your connection to Fairfield because Fairfield is, after all, your new homeland. We know that on a day like this, we acknowledge all the various organisations and I just want to acknowledge the ACN. I'm not, not going to acknowledge everybody else because I think you all know who you are and it's all been acknowledged 50 times already. But the fact that so many people are here to join in this event shows the high respect that they hold the Assyrian community. We know about your history. We know that the Assyrians have played a very, very important role in humanity. Your, your history, your inventions, we know about your persecutions. What we do also know is that the Assyrian community is one that is built on a strong foundation that has been passed on over many generations. Your culture and your traditions have lasted centuries. And here we are today in Fairfield celebrating it. But one of the important things that I do want to talk about is as I was sitting there and listening to Messiah and the word Italy came up. And when I looked up, I seen the Assyrian colours, the red, the white and the blue. And they reminded me of my background, being an Italian, the red, the white and the green. And only I was sitting there thinking about how important my culture is to me. And then I was thinking about today celebrating a Syrian New Year, that whilst we come and we acknowledge all the work that many people have done over many generations to keep the culture, how important it is to recognise the future as well. And I was thinking about my children my children are a mix of Italian and Greek. And from the day, I'm sure you all resonate with this, from the day that our children are born, we teach them how to walk, how to talk, we teach them about our culture, 
we teach them about our foods, we teach them about our traditions, and we teach them about our culture. And I was thinking about the Assyrian community, and the one thing that I have learnt as being the mayor of this city and attending many, many different events is how much pride the Assyrian community have. But I've also learned that your youth is your future. And you can tell the success of a community through your youth. So when I talk to people like Jenny Shaheen, like Dennis Suro, two young people, or even poor Azo, maybe not so young, what I do see are passionate people that know about the history. They are like walking encyclopedias about the Assyrian traditions. And what that tells me is that the generation that came here, that made the sacrifice to leave their home that they love, that traveled across the seas and came here to Fairfield, not because they're not proud of the Assyrians, but because they were persecuted. It tells me that they are passing on to the next generation the important values and traditions of the Assyrian community. So whilst we st we're here today to celebrate Assyrian New Year, which is a very, very important day to each and every one of you, we also join in reflecting that today is also Palm Sunday, a day when Jesus uh, rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey and he was being cheered with palms from the people. And when he rode in, he, he didn't ride in on a horse, he rode in on a donkey, and his first act was actually to have some figs. So today, it's also about reflecting our faith, about who we are. So I wanna wish everyone a very, very happy new year as Assyrians. You're all very, very important to us here in Fairfield. You are part of what makes us special. You are the foundation to this city and the future to this city. That's why when you drive in Fairfield Showground and you see that big granite ball that weighs seven ton, which we call the People's Globe, you will see the Assyrian flag on the wall. You will see the distance, the many kilometers that Assyrians traveled to Fairfield. So we never forget the sacrifices of the Assyrian community who have come here, made a better life for themselves and a better life for their children, but most importantly, making a better life for everybody that lives here in Fairfield. Also, I just want to say as the Mayor, we have a lot of plans here at the Fairfield Showground to make this an even better event space. We're currently working on an indoor entertainment facility that will provide expos, that will provide big festivals, no matter if, it, if it's hail, rain or shine, we wanna make Fairfield one of the best places when it comes to festivals and entertainment. And we wanna do that because we know we're very fortunate in having communities like the Assyrian community that want to use it to celebrate it. Only next week, here at the Fairfield Showground, we will have the second biggest Easter fair in New South Wales, if not Australia. More than 80,000 people, since we changed and redeveloped this facility, will come here and enjoy an affordable Easter fair. We also know, as a council, how important our traditions are. That's why we never walk away from celebrating our values. That's why when you drive through Fairfield, you will see Christmas decorations on the roundabouts. You will see uh, Mother Mary on the roundabout being showcased. And that's why this year, for the first time, we are also celebrating Easter. And we are starting off, of course, with Easter eggs that light up at night and the Easter bunny. But that's all about spreading our values and our traditions. And we are not ashamed of that just like the Assyrian community or any other community is not ashamed of their heritage and their traditions. So there's nothing more to say except to say, Ato bet heya.
Have a lovely day, everyone. I wish everyone a very, very wonderful Assyrian New Year. Don't make too much noise later tonight because I don't want to get all the complaints from all the residents. But hey, do what you want to do and have a great night. Thank you. Thank you very much to Mayor Frank Carboni. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mayor Frank Car Carboni has drawn multiple similarities between the Assyrian and the Italian communities. Humility, one, and being patriotic, two, to name a few, here this afternoon. Over the past few years, Multicultural New South Wales has provided our organisation with grants to help our community celebrate their ancestral heritage. These grants are pivotal in enabling our multicultural community organisations in New South Wales pre to preserve their customs and traditions in order to build a better society and for making Australia an even better place for generations to come. So please join me in welcoming our next speaker, Mr Mark Corey, MP, Shadow Minister for Multiculturalism and Shadow Minister for Seniors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great opportunity to yet again be here today to celebrate the Assyrian New Year and the Assyrian New Year Festival. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands in which we meet today and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. I'd like to acknowledge, of course, the President of the Assyrian National Council, my very good friend, Hermes Shaheen, of course, along with David David and many of the community leaders that are here today. Members of Parliament, federal, state and local, our mayors, our councillors. It is truly wonderful to be here today at the Fairfield Showground. And it is, as I said, a great pleasure to be with you this afternoon to celebrate the Assyrian New Year together. It is always a great pleasure to wish you and all the Assyrian residents in New South Wales a very happy Assyrian New Year. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Assyrian Australians will celebrate more than 6,000 years of tradition and heritage during the New Year celebrations. And here in our great state of New South Wales, we are home to thousands and thousands of Assyrians who proudly call New South Wales home. In recent years, we have welcomed thousands of Assyrian newcomers fleeing war and conflict in, in Syria and Iraq. And I'm proud that Australia and our great state of New South Wales can provide a safe haven for the Assyrian people. Your community is integral thread of the waves, the great multicultural fabric of our great state. The Assyrian National Council Australia, the Assyrian Australian National Federation and many other community organisations and all of you are to be commended, to be commended for the work the hard work that you do and you provide to newcomers building new lives here in New South Wales. I'm also pleased to see that you and your community organisations are working hard to preserve the Assyrian culture, values, language in your new homeland. And that's one of the greatest things about our great country and our great state. We are truly one of the most multicultural countries in the world and a wonderful example to the rest of the world of how wonderful multiculturalism can grow here in our great country. Here in Australia, you have the right and the, and the freedom to follow your religion, speak your language and continue to take pleasure in your customs and traditions. And here in New South Wales, we are home to more than 300 cultures speaking over 275 different languages and practicing over 140 different religions. As I said, we set a wonderful example to the rest of the world of how such diverse communities can live, work and play together. You are, of course, a perfect example, a perfect example to each and every one of us of, your, of, of, your, of this wonderful event here today. You have put the needs of others first and are outstanding advocates for your community harmony. You've been generous about sharing your wonderful culture with the rest of us 
as we've seen here today, as we celebrate the Assyrian New Year Festival. On behalf of Mark Speakman, the New South Wales Liberal leader, and of course the New South Wales opposition, I'd like to wish each and every one of you a very happy Assyrian New Year. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Mr. Mark Corey. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour to introduce our next speaker, Ms. Dai Lee, MP, member for Fowler. Ms. Lee made history on May the 21st, 2022, when she was elected as the first independent federal member for the seat of Fowler. In addition to her federal role, Ms. Lee also serves as a councillor on Fairfield City Council. Nonetheless, her dedication to the community is evident through her tireless efforts in delivering numer uh, uh, numerous initiatives at a local level. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Ms. Di Lee MP to the stage. Thank you. Shalama Lokun. Reshuta Brakta, uh, I know it's the year of 6,774. I want to wish the wonderful Assyrian Australian community a wonderful new year. But first, I would like to acknowledge the Assyrian National Council, its chair, Mr. David David, and President Hermes Shaheen, for putting together this amazing day. I know that you do this year in, year out, to ensure that your culture, your heritage is uh, um, shown, showcased to the rest of our community. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge Father Raman Yukanis. I know who's left. Uh, also our Mayor, Frank Carboni. My councillor colleagues, Deputy Mayor, Shabel Saliba. Marie Saliba, they're not related, by the way. Rennie Barco and Carmen Lazar. Distinguished guests and my federal parliamentary colleague, the Minister, uh, Chris Bowen, as well as Senator Maria Kovacic, who has already left, as well as my state parliamentary colleagues. Today is a very important day for your community. Um, I would like to say that actually I'm the adopted daughter of the Assyrian community because I was born on the day of the Assyrian New Year, which is April the 1st. So it is an honour for me to be here every year to celebrate and mark this important cultural event with all of you. I have no doubt that like my New Year, like the Australian New Year, the Assyrian New Year, it's a year to reflect and what to create new things and prosperity and for your family and your community. Many speakers today have spoken about the amazing and significant contribution that the Assyrian Australian community have made to our wonderful city here in Fairfield. And as, the, as I was introduced, being the first, not just independent member, by being the first member with a refugee background, I'm very honoured and privileged to represent our very diverse, culturally diverse migrant and refugee communities on the floor of the 47th Parliament. And I have no doubt that our community, I often say this on the floor of the Parliament, is the most multicultural society community in the country. And I know that, like many of you, you've made so many sacrifices, personal sacrifices, to rebuild your lives here in this community. So thank you once again for having me here to share with this, on this important day with you. Basima Raba, Kaya Umta Atureta. Thank you very much, Ms. Lee. Second to none Assyrian there. On behalf of the Assyrian community, we would like to say happy birthday for the 1st of April. <laughs> happy birthday. 
Next, we would like to invite a representative from the Filipino community and also a member of the Australian Southeast Asian Network to introduce a brief introduction of their first ever Cambodian Apsara dance, sponsored by Khmer, Khmer Krom Cultural Centre to ever perform at an Assyrian New Year. This performance is the result of an ongoing collaboration between the Assyrian National Council, led by President Hormuz Shaheen and Mr. Sawathi EKOAM to promote our ethnic identity. Joining with us today, they're members from Cambodian, Khmer Krom, Laotian, Vietnamese, Filipino, Indian, Bangladeshi, Indonesian, and Indigenous Australian. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jojo Sebastian. All right, um, uh, Jojo isn't here, so by default, I'm standing in front of you. Uh, my name is Brian, for those who don't know me out here. And uh, it is an honor for uh, ASEAN to be here today with uh, Under Sabate Ek. Uh, very quickly, it is um, the first time that this is happening, this collaboration between uh, the Cambodian Apsara dance uh, that represents heavenly dancers during the old uh, Kaima Empire uh, in present Cambodia, uh, performed by Pina Shre of uh, Kaima Krom background. And uh, so, can we have a big round of applause for Pina Shre? Thank you. 
thank you for your beautiful performance and your contribution to the rich tapestry of our cultural celebration. Your performance is showcasing a multicultural mosaic where people from various backgrounds coexist in peace and harmony. Please give another round of applause to Fina Shrey. Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest speaker is Dr. David Saliba, MP, the state member for Fairfield. Dr. Saliba is an Australian politician of a Syrian background and was ele elected as a member of the New South Wales Legislative Assembly in 2023. Throughout his tenure, he has demonstrated unwavering support for all communities in his district. Dr Saliba's dedication extends to addressing pressing issues within the district, with a particular focus on combating high youth unemployment rates, gambling and many others to say the least. He endeavours to implement policies and initiatives that empower the youth and tackle the root causes of unemployment. Please join me in welcoming Dr. David Saliva, MP, State Member for Fairfield, representing Stephen Camper, MP, Minister for Multiculturalism. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I must say that this festival is absolutely amazing. It truly is one of Western Sydney's biggest festivals. The music, the food, the culture, the smiling. I am here today to represent the Minister for Multiculturalism, Steve Camper, and he sincerely he sincerely wishes everyone a happy new year. We are now in the year 6,774 in the Assyrian calendar. That predates most civilizations. And when I reflect on the Assyrian community this year, I think of growth. Assyrians growing throughout the millennia, growing in culture, in size, in impact. The Assyrian community in Fairfield typify all of that escaping the dangers and of persecution in the Middle East and migrating almost across the world to set up a new life here with their families. And I know from my experience that that has been tough. The limited financial means, uh, the English barriers, getting a job, holding a job and building that life is no doubt difficult. But in the decades that have passed, I've seen the Syrian community grow to be strong contributors in New South Wales to be a pillar in the Fairfield City community, whether it be in business, academia, education, non-for-profit, government or politics, Assyrians have thrived. But for all of this to happen, someone must have went first. Our seniors have broken the barriers to pave the way for our younger generations to follow. In that, I acknowledge the hard work of the Assyrian National Council of Australia, in particular David David and Hermes Shaheen, the Assyrian Aid Society of Australia, the Assyrian Australian Association, the Assyrian Australian Medical Association, the Assyrian Bawar Association, the Assyrian Baz Association, the Assyrian Church of the East Relief Organisation, the Assyrian Democratic Movement, the Assyrian Democratic Party, the Assyrian Kabul Social Association, the Assyrian Sports and Cultural Club, and the New South Wales Babylon Cultural Association. But I also want to mention the importance of the work of our younger Assyrian Australians. Within these groups, there is a momentum to preserve the Assyrian culture and to promote the economic and social well-being of our most vulnerable members in our society. They include the young Assyrians, the Assyrian Cultural and Social Youth Association. I just want to give a bit of a shout out there to Jesse Arubu. He's someone that I've made a friendship with over the years and someone that's inspired me to learn more about my Assyrian culture and heritage. So Jesse, thank you very much for your friendship there. And I also want to acknowledge the Assyrian Students Association and the Bakhmeti Youth Committee. Now to all Assyrians, just like every other cultural groups in our area, Fairfield City is our home. It is a city that has welcomed us, and in my view, one of the safest places Assyrians have settled into in our history. A place where our culture has been welcomed and protected. A place where our children can truly pursue their dreams. But it is also a city that is at the center of disadvantage. And when I talk about disadvantage, 
I talk about financial stress, unemployment, the lack of educational attainment, problem gambling, access to healthcare, and much more. I say this because to truly make this place the shining light we want it to be, we need to help our most vulnerable. I know the tireless work that all of you have been doing in that space, and for that, I sincerely thank you. I want to let you know that my job is to be better and to get you the support that you need. That is what democracy is about. It is not about power, it is about service. Service to our families, service to everyone, service that does not stop. It grows like the Assyrian community has and will continue to do so. Thank you very much for having me here and Happy New Year. Thank you, Dr. Saliba. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour and privilege that we welcome to the stage Chief Inspector Robert Monaghan from Fairfield City Police Area Command. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Fairfield City PAC Commander, Superintendent Michael McLean, I thank you graciously for the opportunity to come here and celebrate New Year with our friends in the Assyrian community. I have personally been attached to the Fairfield Command for the past five years, and in this time I have witnessed the friendship and cooperation that your community has extended to our local police. We have been able to achieve much in the way of detection and crime prevention through this strong community partnership. I look forward to the continuation of this mutual respect and support that we share for each other well into the future. We very much appreciate and value the close working relationship that we have with all our local communities, but none is more important than that which we share with our friends in the Assyrian community. I appreciate that this New Year celebration is one of the most significant Assyrian festivals. And I'm very pleased to see that it has been held in the Fairfield community for the last 20 years. I'm honoured to come here as an invited guest and share in the festivities with you all. To the Assyrian Council of Australia, in particular Mr Shaheen and Mr David, I thank you for the opportunity to be present and to take part in such an important event. I wish you all a very happy and safe New Year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is a dedicated lawyer known for providing ongoing assistance to the most vulnerable members of the local community. With a long history of charitable work, he has been a vocal supporter of the needs of the Assyrian community. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage Mr. Trivo, MP, the State Member for Cabramatta. Uh, th thank you, Johnson and Mel, for the uh, lovely emceeing today. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the Gabriel people of the Darug Nation who are traditional custodians of the land we are meeting on today. I also pay my respect to the elders past, present and emerging. I acknowledge Mr. Hermes Shahan, President of the Syrian National Council of Australia, Mr. David David, Vice President and Chairman of the Organising Committee, uh, Father Raman Yukanis, all the religious leaders, all our federal MPs, state MPs, mayor, councillors, representatives of organisations, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I'd like to thank the Organising Committee for inviting me here today and wish everyone a very happy 6,774th Assyrian New Year. I found this fact very interesting. This is 4,750 years BC, 
before Christ. Therefore, the Assyrian people were one of the oldest civilizations of the world. The Assyrian people were the indigenous people in the Mesopotamian region, what is now in Iraq, parts of Iran, Syria, Kuwait, and Turkey. Also, interestingly and importantly, the Assyrian people invented writing and literature, developing the paved road and creating 360 degree circle which laid down the foundation of telling time. The Syrian New Year, also known as Akutu, is a vibrant and deeply significant celebration observed here in Fairfield, southwestern Sydney, and worldwide by the Syrian people. From ancient Mesopotamian traditions, this cultural festival holds immense importance, serving as a time for renewal, reflection, and rejoicing in the rich heritage of the Assyrian people. The origins of Ikutu can be traced back thousands of years, where it was celebrated as a religious festival marking the beginning of the agricultural year and the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. It was celebrated for 12 days, one day for each month of the calendar year. We are so happy we are so happy to know that the majority of the Assyrian people in New South Wales live in Fairfield and Liverpool area, and also in my electorate of Kaparimara. In 2021, nearly 12% of the people in Fairfield City spoke the Assyrian language at home. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Assyrian community for preserving and cherishing, cherishing your language and culture for your community, for our next generations, and also for us to know, to learn, and to celebrate with you. Once again, I wish you a very happy 6,774th Assyrian New Year, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trivo. Now we present to you a performance by the Ashur Dancing Group who will showcase some of the traditional dancing customs celebrated during the Assyrian New Year Festival led by George George Gago. When you're ready.
Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Assyrian Ashur dancing group. Thank you very much. What's a festival without a little bit of Dolo Zorna? As we prepare for the award presentations and the conclusion of today's program, I extend a sincere gratitude on behalf of the Assyrian National Council Australia for your gracious acceptance of our invitation for the enlightening presentations delivered by our esteemed guest speakers. We extend our best wishes for success in all your future endeavours. Our heartfelt appreciation goes out to today's sponsors, volunteers, supporters, artists, singers, and of course, Zoom Films production. We also extend our gratitude to the younger Syrians for their invaluable contribution to organising today's festival. A special acknowledgement is due to individuals who played pivotal roles in organising this event. Mrs. Maureen Aramia for her remarkable decorations that you guys see today. Mr. Lena David for the stage and sound system, lighting and technical support. And Mr. and Mrs. George and Shamira Baden for their dedication for many, many years in preparing all the costumes that you guys see today for the drama groups. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we extend a special thanks and appreciation to Naram Yapo and the Armenian Dancing Group, along with the Ashur Dancing Group that you've just seen for their outstanding performances. Additionally, we express our gratitude to Ms. Fiba Framin, Community Liaison Officer at the Department of Home Affairs for her invaluable assistance to our guests from Iraq. Finally, a heartfelt thank you to Mrs. Karen Boss, the National Director of Christian Faith and Freedom for her exceptional support of the Assyrian cause through her esteemed organization, Christian Faith and Freedom. We appreciate her effort in traveling all the way from Canberra to join us today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call upon Mr. Hormus Shahin and Mr. David David to the stage to present the Assyrian National Council Awards. I would also like to call upon the Honorable Chris Bowen MP to present the first award. Ladies and gentlemen, every year we present an award to a notable Assyrian individual whom has devoted their time in providing services to the community. It is with great honour and privilege to present the Lifetime Achievement Award for dedication to healthcare and community service for the year 2024, 6,774 to Mrs. Samia Sayad. Round of applause. Mrs. Sayad embarked on her nursing career in 1962, which starts in Iraq, showcasing her passion for caring for others from an elderly age. Her journey led her to Kuwait in 1967, where she continued her work in healthcare at their hospital. In 1971, Mrs. Sayed arrived in Australia and her journey continued as she began to work at the Royal Women's Hospital in Paddington. As her family grew, Mrs. Sayed relocated to Fairfield in 1974, where she continued her career in healthcare. Her commitment to patient care and excellence led her to serve in various capacities at Fairfield Hospital, including the Operating Theatre, until her retirement in 2009. Mrs. Sayad's impact extends beyond the hospital walls. Despite her busy schedule and numerous committee involvements, she has always made time to support members of the non-English-speaking Assyrian community with their medical needs. As a compassionate translator and advocate, she has attended countless medical visits offering comfort, guidance, and support to those in need. Today we honor Mrs. Samia Sayad with a Lifetime Achievement Award for exceptional dedication to healthcare and unwavering commitment to serving the community. I do call her my auntie, and I must say, this woman is unbelievable. The extremes and lengths that she goes to for our community is nothing compared to the rest. Her selfless contributions have touched the lives of many and have left an incredible mark on our hearts and our community. 
the ladies and gentlemen, please applaud Mrs. Samia Saad for her outstanding achievements and profound impact on healthcare and community service. actually, but they call me Samir Sayed, and I'm very proud to be a Syrian Australian, and I've been in Australia since 71, around 54 years. I've been working in different hospitals have since I've been here, so I'm very proud, I'm very humble, and I appreciate what the Assyrian Australian National Council that they did to me, and I'm very proud of them, and I'm going to be their support until the end of my life and I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Another round of applause ladies and gentlemen for Mrs. Samia Sayad. A token of appreciation thank in addition you. to the award is a small gesture of flowers. So thank you very much for your support and now lifetime commitment. As the handshakes and kissing commences or continues rather we will now move on to the Australian Assyrian Man of the Year Award for the year 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to call upon Dr. Hugh McDermott, MP, to present the second award. As Dr. Hugh McDermott makes his way to the stage, we have a distinct honour and privilege of presenting the prestigious Assyrian no Australian Man of the Year Award for the year 2024. This award goes to Mr. Alembi George, truly a remarkable individual. Mr. George's unwavering dedication and tireless efforts in our community have left an incredible mark on us all. His commitment to preserving our religious traditions Supporting those in need and fostering unity among Assyrians is truly exemplary. Throughout the years, Mr. George has demonstrated an exceptional level of engagement and involvement, working closely with various Assyrian organisations to uplift and empower our community. Mr. George's dedication serves as an inspiration to us all. Taking those six steps is just one small thing that you've seen on behalf. Now the profound impact that one individual can make when driven by passion and compassion is exemplary. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Alembi George on receiving the Australian Assyrian Man of the Year Award. Your contributions are deeply appreciated and will continue to inspire us for years to come. Round of applause ladies and gentlemen. As a small token of appreciation, Mr. George. Flowers, photos. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A group photo. A group photo, please. Mr. George would like to say something. I'm 
And I now call upon Mayor of Fairfield City Council, which is Mayor Frank Carboni, to present tokens of appreciation to our guests from overseas. The following guests, could I please call them upon to the stage to receive their token of appreciation? They are Miss Mariam Schmuel, Dr. Marcel Yelda, Mr. Rama Beto, Mr. Andy Sliwa, Mr. Maril Toma, and Mr. Ashur Eskharia. Can you please come to the stage to receive your token of appreciation? gentlemen, I've just been informed by Mr. David David that the following guests that you see here today on the stage actually have their own token of appreciation for Mr. Herma Shaheen, Mr. David David and uh, the Honourable Chris Bowen. My apologies, Bowen. <laughs>
شلون هذا اخو؟ بشمي بشمت علي مت مهضرة مقروبة اخاها دشنا ويت القوبة طيبوثة ويقارة من رابي هورمز شاهن رابي ديفيد ديفيد ذيس هوربل كريس باون ومن موتوا طاطو رايد استراليا قاداها تشتا انفيتيشن شو درا قالا تخطرك من نوخ اللقا من اطرة اطرة ديتا مهضرة من اطرة عيرق فانا الى دشنة قوبة طيبوثة مقروه خلاقة دنم يقري إلى يشانقة شكرتة موجيانو ثقاتوه قبل خانوه قبل خانة كل ما يقري إلى الأخ أذ خانو ثلاقالا وثني قارب يوق كله أو تبسيم رامو بيته منه Thank you very much. On behalf of the Assyrian National Council Australia, we would like to thank our sponsors for their very generous sponsorship of this Assyrian New Year Festival. Your support means a lot towards the success of this festival. So thank you all for your generous support, donations and sponsorships. It is much appreciated by everyone here today. So ladies and gentlemen, the first award will be presented to Club Marconi. Could I please have Mr. Morris Licata, President of Club Marconi, to come to the stage to receive his token of appreciation by Mr. Chris Bowen. Hello, hello everyone and welcome. It is an honour to attend a Syrian New Year, celebrate on behalf of the Club Marconi, along with CEO Matt Biviano. For decades, a Syrian community has made a remarkable lifestyle to benefit our local area. I am proud of Club Marconi long associations with the Assyrian National Council and we are proud to support such incredible community events. 
I'd like to acknowledge and congratulate David, David and Hesne on being the driving force behind this amazing festival for a Syrian committee to celebrate on such a large scale. Also, congratulate everyone who received the awards and wish them all the world in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Club Marconi, the board and members would like to wish you all a happy new year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lakata. Will I please call upon the Mr. Messiah Murad to come to the stage? He will be receiving his award from the Honourable Chris Bowen as well. Round of applause, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Six to seven languages, and the smile on his face is second to none. With the red, white, and blue pare, he makes his way up behind Dai Lee. Thank you, Miss Lee. And I also call upon the following sponsors to receive their awards. Mr. Romel Youssef from Fairfield Forum Pharmacy. Mr. Stephen Mirza from the Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Mrs. Uzi Davi and Mr. Fred David from the David Legal. Uzi David and Mr. Fred David. Mr. George Humphreys from St. John Park Bowling Club Group and Mr. Michael Fuchs, the Group General Manager from Cabra Vale Ex-Active Servicemen Club. If you could make your way to the stage to receive your token of appreciation from Miss Lee.
making their way, could I please call Dr. David Saliba, MP, Ms. Karishma Kalyanda, MP, Mr. Nathan Hagati, MP, and Mr. Trivo, MP, to present the next sponsorship plug to our supporting sponsors, which we always appreciate for what they do for us at the Australian New Year. They are Mr. Tony Jawadal from T&J Smash Repairs, Dr. Mariam Joseph from Endeavour Specialist Centre. Councillor Reni Barjo from Reni's Car Wash. Dr. Nabil Mate from Smiles Unlimited Dental Clinic. Mr. John Burajo from Core Community Services. Mr. Nabaz Al Qadi from Settlement Services International. Mr. Lachlan Murdoch from Starts. Mr. Raghul Ravindran from Wise Employment. Mr. George Adam from David's Auto Repairs. Mr. Jack Bazi and Ms. Janan Oshana from Princess Flowers. Would you please all come to the stage to receive your token of appreciation?
نو انت مغبى هديه كل اخونا من حاضر قد انا بش باسمته تخت الدها زو يا خربت خابني سن رشيد العطرايه كريس باون بت باتخله وزمرته امتنيته بتشريا وفاير ووركس بتهاوي وتصفوخن بين خزنه وكلهم زيخخ ودس رقاده بترقدي وخرطه زماره حاضر ناقه زماره كريس كان يو بليز ستيب فورورد اند ديجري ذس فيستيفال My friends, on behalf of our community, on behalf of Assyrian Australians everywhere, I declare Assyrian New Year open. Round the applause to everyone. Thank you, guys, sponsors, parliamentarian from all level, federal, state, and also councillors, mayor, everyone, and organizations, 
everyone. Thank you very much. God bless you. Happy Assyrian New Year. 6,774. Now the music starts and a party all the way till 10 o'clock. Thank you very much. And you are all welcome. Thank you. Yalla, Fra Frank, Frank Mirza. Hazra Yanuk. That's me. Zikure Shari. Frank Mirza bet Shari la. Bi khikye prishi prishi. Uzamar khine Sandy Dave bet ate. Romeo bet ate. Bet Sam Sliu bet ate. Uhar hadak Sonia bet hoya hazar. و كل أن بالزمري وتلن شوش خينا قد يأخن خاي ختم ماري نوعي برختاري ششيتت عطر آية الكل أخن و بارتي شارو يالا كيوت فرانك مرزا خاي يقان أخو ميقرا ديفيد هل بتريشيت كل عطر آية ويا برختا إلى يقار رابا قورا قاتي مشروكي ونعموخن بدير نمر نهم ماشا برختاري شيت أخن كل أخن Thank you بتعزخ لقامة من خجا يا قورا أزاد إلى أتشاقل ريشت خجا. Thank you.